Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about um, angel wing begonia care. So this type of begonia is called My Special Angel and it's a type of begonia that grows on a cane. So um, if you can see here, I have a little stick that I got for my orchid plant and it just helps the begonia grow straight because they do kind of flop over if you don't have support for the canes. So first I'm going to talk about the light requirements. So this type of begonia loves partial sun. So that means um, that it gets about four to six hours of direct sunlight on the leaves um, during the day. So that would be like a western or eastern window in your home. You don't want to put it in a southern exposed window because that light is way too intense and there's a better chance that the leaves will burn from that sunlight. So you want to give it the, the break from the sunlight so the west or eastern is better. The temperature they prefer is anything above 60 degrees, so make sure your home doesn't drop below that. Uh, they really love humidity, so for my plant in particular, I keep the pot on um, a, a tray that's filled with pebbles, and then I put water on the pebbles, and that once the eva uh, water evaporates from the tray, it creates a humid environment around the plant. Um, other ways to increase humidity would be using a humidifier placed close to the plant or also um, grouping uh, plants that like humidity together because that will create a more humid environment as well. But I definitely recommend either doing the pebble um, method or a humidifier to make sure that it gets enough humidity. If you don't provide it with the correct humidity, um, there's a better chance that the leaves will start to get crispy, brown, and fall off. And of course, if you live in a place that is are already humid, maybe like Florida or any kind of tropical area, you might um, have better luck with this type of plant just because the, it's naturally humid in the air. All right, so for watering, you want the plant to dry out completely. Um, you don't want to overwater this type of plant, so just make sure that uh, when you stick your finger in, it doesn't feel moist. You want to wait till it dries out. Then you want to fully water this plant until water Drain, um, drips out the bottom of the pot because of course you want to use a, a pot with drainage I always stress that and then it's good to go and let it dry out completely again so maybe about once a week it just depends on the humidity in in the room and things like that for a fertilizer uh, you want to fertilize the begonia during the gro growing season which typically like for where I live is the summertime when this plant is already growing quite a bit and they just, like I said, use a balanced fertilizer. Pruning is also important if you want to keep a compact, the leaves to be compact because it could become leggy, meaning like the leaves are not as close together. So you can prune them from time to time to control the size and also create more branches um, with the plant. Um, but yeah, so if you, in addition, I always forget to mention that I have an Instagram. Uh, the name is Juju Succulents. I'll link it down below and also write it across the screen just so you can follow me if you're interested. I like to post a lot of plant related uh, material. So yeah, you can find me there as well. So I'm just going to cut to the clip of me uh, zooming into this plant so you can really see what the foliage looks like and the leaves. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get into the close ups. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. Um, from straight on and like I mentioned you can see these little uh, stakes that I use to keep the leaves up straight because they will flop over if you don't use that and then I have my pebbles right here that are filled um, that have water on them which creates a nice humid environment for this plant and then you can see how gorgeous these leaves are they have these little silver spots all over the leaves and it's just so beautiful and when this plant flowers, it's going to create a light pink bloom. So yeah, if you do follow me on Instagram, I'll definitely post it once this, hopefully this plant um, comes into bloom and it will produce those gorgeous flowers for me. But I'm just, I really like this plant a lot. It's just so beautiful. And you can purchase this from Logies. I happen to live close to this store. They sell exotic plants there. But you can also order online, and I've actually ordered online from them as well. And the plants come in really great condition. So I would recommend ordering from them if you can't find this type of plant in a garden center near you. 
All right, guys, so I think that's all I have to say for now. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.